PowerPoint. It's nothing new, right? You add pictures. You add text. Maybe you add a few animations to give some movement to your slides. There are lots of animation choices, so you can easily find one that you like. You can also add transitions to your slides. Experiment until you find the best one for your movie. I recommend choosing only one transition and applying it to all the slides. Too many changes can be really distracting. Once you have everything the way you like it, click on File, Export, Create a Video, and choose how many seconds you'd like each slide to show. Don't worry if you want some shorter or longer. You can change that in Movie Maker. Click on Create Video and you're on your way. You could call it done here, but why not have a little more fun and move on to Movie Maker? Movie Maker is a free download that you can get from Microsoft and you'll see it in the resource list. So once you've opened Movie Maker, on the home screen, click on Add Videos and Photos and find the MP4 that you just exported from PowerPoint. This will insert your movie into the program so you can edit it. Want to add music? Click on the Add Music button. You can add music that you've saved to your computer, but don't forget about copyright. You can't just use any music. In the resource list at the end, I'll include places you can find public domain music, or you can go right to the Free Music Archive website that's linked to from Movie Maker. For this video, let's just assume that you're using the Free Music Archive. It has a variety of ways to search by mood, genre, an artist, or song title. You can listen to a track by clicking on the black arrow. Then once you've found something you like, click on the down arrow to the right, and it will save the MP3 to your downloads folder. You can upload the music using the Add Music button on the home screen, and then you're ready to start editing. There are a lot of things that Movie Maker can do, but I'm only going to talk about the basics. Once you have music and video added, you'll see near the top of your screen two tabs, one that says Video Tools and one that says Music Tools. Here you'll find the tools which allow you to adjust the volume, fade sounds in and out, split a track into two pieces, and adjust the speed of the video. It's really pretty straightforward once you start playing with it. Last but not least, back on the Home tab, you can, if you wish, play the movie and record narration to go along with the images. And don't forget, at the end of your movie, you need to credit any images and music you use. Even the free public domain ones should have a credit. Once you have everything the way you like it, click on the blue drop-down arrow in the upper left. You can choose the Upload to the Web right away, to Facebook or Vimeo or one of the, the web film hosting websites, or you can choose to save the movie to your computer. I normally choose Save for High Definition Display. That's pretty much it. On the final slide, you'll see I've included a resource list. These are all places to find free images or free music or to download Movie Maker. Now, of course, this is only one way to easily make a movie. You can also use Movie Maker to edit clips you filmed with your phone, or just upload your images directly to Movie Maker and play around with it. I'll bet you've just discovered your new favorite toy.